Hello guys, it's Danny here. I'm, I have a masking tutorial for you because so many people asked for it. I'm going to talk about one glitch which is haunting so many people and we are masking it so many guys apparently. And uh, I'm also going to show you how to make your life as easy as possible when you are masking your sunny areas. So, um, the problem, the error I'm going to talk about is this one. If I ever stop this properly, probably not. Man. Come on, you know. Okay, here it is. So this is the problem which you have after you after you render. May you may may have um, because I've seen it around on YouTube uh, among AI uh, editors. Um, so this is the problem. Uh, you know, it has nothing to do with your masking. Uh, you can have the most wonderful masking ever and the biggest attention to detail. This is connected to frame rates, and uh, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Uh, okay, so let's go from this and make this mask perfect. Uh, so um, you can see you can see the error by the way, and only if you have the preview quality set to best full. If you have it to preview auto, you can see you'll see nothing. So it, that's why it's so hard to catch when you are editing, and you usually just see it after you after you finish with the project, and then it's really obvious. And so the way to uh, the, the, uh, why why it happens is that uh, when you go to properties here, uh, you can see the frame rate frame per second. Sorry, you fucked up here actually, but anyway. They are uh, set for whatever reason to the footage is uh, 119. I don't know why, but anyway. Uh, when you go to properties, uh, usually, uh, as I said in the render and project settings uh, tutorial, which you can uh, you can watch uh, the link to it is in the description. Uh, is uh, usually you just set it to one of the uh, here 23, 25, 29. I usually go for 23, and when my properties are set like that, and, um, and the footage is uh, is originally for something different, it it creates this problem. And usually, if you are an AMV editor, you use so much uh, so much different footage, so you can never have the same uh, same frame ratio in every piece of uh, footage you use. So we, the way to fix this is to go to switches and you can see that here is this option which is set to small example and it's automatically like that always when you open Sony Vegas and what you want to do is to click on this option disable the resample and you can see that it fixed itself. Um, but you must remember that you need to do it before you start masking because otherwise you would have to uh, probably redo the mask a bit in certain cases. Uh, so remember this option: always go to switches and disable resemble, then start masking. So uh, this is the footage unmasked, and I'm going to mask only in on here because uh, Shikamaru is just moving in different um, in different ways than her. Anyway, so uh, to mask, you just go to pen and crop here and click on mask box. And you can see you have you can see you have this tool automatically, which is the anchor creation tool. Uh, to move around uh, on the on the screen uh, with the mask is uh, to have this uh, normal edit tool set because this one is just you know it just creates mask um, masks not uh, not uh, it doesn't let you sh it doesn't it doesn't let you move around. So, but instead of just clicking around with these two over here, uh, remember the control key. Because when you click on control and hold it, it automatically change, uh, changes to the, the other one. And it makes your life so much easier because you can just, you know, you can just always uh, click on control and move around. Instead of just going here, I do the same thing. Okay, so um, this makes uh, editing much faster. Another thing which makes it, uh, I mean, masking. Another thing which makes asking faster is just clicking on two, on two ending parts of one rounded object. For example, here in a sh in a shoulder. Just click twice um, here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I showed it right. So instead of just going like this. Because it can create, uh, you know, no one is perfect, and it can create really 
awkward uh, kind of looking mask in the end. Uh, just go, just go for this option. Click here, click in the end, then click twice in, uh, in between them. And then when you click on control, the cursor changes to the normal edit tool again. And you can move this and you can see that the, it changes itself into this round mask. And the mask, uh, the mask is much, uh, much more smooth than if you were just going, uh, one by one. And also it's much faster, you see, for example, here you have Inno's head, and when you click here, you, and then twice here, and you just move it, it's so much faster, and it, ma it makes uh, masking much easier. Same, same with this one. You have to probably click m more times in there, because you want, um, you want it to, you want it to be a nice, like, grounded object. Um, but so I'm just going to finish this one. It's it's really like it's uh, my most favorite uh, like tweak when it comes to masking because um it's um it makes it look looks much better than than uh, normally if you just go, go one by one. Okay, so just connect the mask in the end, and you can see that it is done, and uh, it is still kind of awkwardly looking. Because the edges are so rough, so what you want to do is to go to the prototype and go and set it to bow and to something like um, 0.8. Uh, and if you can see it here better, you can see that the mask uh, is much better looking right now. If you are adding effects, then we need to talk uh, about this um, later. But if you are adding effects, then it will look better still. But um, the feather type is important because it looks it looks a little better. So uh, what you want to do next is when she moves again, just go. Did I set it to the middle? Okay. So if when she moves again, you want to go. You want to right click, delete all, and start it all over again, as I showed you before. Um, also, there are some. There is there is one thing. Um, if uh, you are one of the people which uh, do this kind of thing, that when the mask uh, the, the mask changes, I mean the object you are trying to mask changes, and you uh, you are you are ch changing it like manually, you know, like this. There's one thing you must keep in mind. I usually I, I just don't do it because it's uh, in the end it's much more time consuming than just deleting the mask and making it again. But if you are doing it, just uh, bear in mind that the, if you are moving it. And you have a, you have some space between the two anchors on this timeline. It will change gradually, as you can see if you're in the preview and in the in the mask window here. It changes gradually. So if you are if you if you uh, move the anchor points on the mask, uh, don't forget to always copy the the former mask and and put it right before uh, right before the the object changes. Because then it goes right. The change, uh, the change doesn't come gradually, but it just, uh, you know, just changes all of a sudden, and it doesn't uh, ring your masking. But I wouldn't really recommend this uh, this uh, way of masking because it's really, it's really, you know, it takes time and it's much more annoying than just deleting it. But whatever, or whatever you like, just bear this in mind. So this would be about it. I don't think I um, need to show you more. You just have to, you just have to have a lot of patience, I guess, if you if you are using Simulus for masking. I I'm well aware that there are um, there are that in After Effects, for example, kind of masks for you, but not all computers can hand, handle After Effects, and I'm, I per personally prefer masking in Vegas as well, which is part of my old-fashioned um, editing experience. But anyway. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. And also, don't forget uh, that when you are rendering the the um, frame rate uh, you you set here must match the project settings. Otherwise, uh, it would uh, the mask would, the mask would screw up again if uh, if you were to if you were to rendering and project settings. Sorry, I made I'm talking out in here. So, if you have any questions for about the issue, just just ask me in the comments and. Uh, thanks for the attention. Bye.